This video is on replacing the Honda CR125 primary paired wire. So these wires go to your coil. So there you have it, the coil, the spade connector goes to your positive lead, the eyelet goes to your ground bar in the center. So this is a very common part to replace. The stock Honda connector is perfectly fine on a brand new engine, but with the go-kart application, there are susceptibles, and what happens is these connectors start coming loose, or more common is the wire breaks inside the insulation right here. So if you ever have a high-end miss on your Honda CR125 engine, what you want to do is you want to inspect all the wires, make sure they're good connections, but also you grab the connector and go back about two inches. And the reason you're going to give it a sharp tug is you're going to see if the wire is broken inside the insulation. So what happens, the insulation stays intact, the inside wire breaks. So that's what we're trying to resolve here. So Sweet Tech, with our years and have come up with the actual replacement. This is a wire harness replacement for the CR125 coil. And this is specifically for the 1999 ignition. So as you can see, it's preformed. It uses heat shrink for the forming and then also helps keep the vibration to a minimum because the vibration is what kills all this stuff. And real quickly, I'm going to show you how to replace the OEM wire with the Sweet Tech wire. So we have the box with the connectors, and you want to do one connector at a time. You don't want to do both of them. And I'll show you why. So connector and this paired wire, one goes to the 8-pin Molex connector, and one goes to the 4-pin connector. I like to start with the ground, and you'll see inside there's a yellow retaining tab. So we use a small screwdriver to gently pry it out. This screwdriver is approximately three millimeters wide. And what you're going to have inside, I'm going to do my best to zoom in here. Do you see those little square holes in the top of these connectors? These are OEM Honda connectors. And so if you see those holes in the top, inside the connector, you have a pin that drops inside that square hole. So what we need to do is lift that tab. So we're going to lift it up with the screwdriver. That tab will come out of that square hole and we're going to give it a gentle pull out of the back. So I'll demonstrate here in a moment. I like to start with the green. That's ground. You see inside there. And what you're going to do is put the screwdriver in. You're going to push the wire forward you're going to gently lift on the tab, and it takes a little bit of practice. I haven't done this in quite some time. But you're going to gently lift on the tab. And as you gently push forward, you should feel a slight release. And then you just pull out the back once you feel the release. Ground, take the new wire. On the Sweet Tech, it is not green. It's just a solid black wire. So again, it's very important you put it in the right spot or you will not have spark when you do it. In the back, you have the port. Square opening on the connector goes up. You feed it in, just gently push through. You'll hear it snap, and that one is in. Take the yellow spacer, and you're going to put the yellow spacer back inside the Molex connector. You also want to make sure you have your orange O-ring heel. So you want to make sure the orange O-ring is still in place. Sometimes they get stuck inside the CDI boxes. So you want to kind of fish it out and then gently seat it in there. Now on the four pin, the O-ring is by itself, the yellow connect inside the pin channels. Now, on the 8 pin, sorry about that. On the 8 pin, the O ring is going to be behind the yellow connector. 
So again, I'm using a three millimeter wide screwdriver. Fish out the yellow uh, guard there. And basically what this is for is to keep the pins aligned and locked into place so you don't bend the pins over and damage anything. Now on the OEM one, the hot wire, the primary positive lead with a yellow tray. Make sure this part of the Molex connector is facing up. I mean, you don't have to. I just always do it that way. I like to be able to repeat something. Gently put the screwdriver inside and gently pry it up. Don't want to force it. It's a very small area in here. And again, it helps when you start wiggling the wire back and forth because then you'll feel it. This one's going to be a little trickier because I'm, I'm trying to do it without looking inside the connector. So I can put it on the video here. So you just wiggle it back and forth. You'll feel it lift. There it goes. And again, the black wire with the yellow tracer is the OEM primary lead. Double check with the Swede Tech one. This one is going to be black with a white lead. Make sure the wires are not crossed up or looped. And we're going to take this connector. And again, we're going to gently insert it into the vector with the square or rectangle opening facing upward. You'll hear it snap, give it a light pull. Double check that your O-ring is in place. So there it is. And reinsert the yellow. And when you install this on the coil, the eyelet is going to be